The Neoproterozoic era is the unit of geologic time from 1000 to 541 million years ago. It is the last era of the Proterozoic Eon and Precambrian Superaeon. It is subdivided into the Tonian, Cryogenian, and Ediacaran periods. It is preceded by the Mesoproterozoic era and succeeded by the Paleozoic era. The most severe glaciation known in the geologic record occurred during the Cryogenian, when ice sheets reached the equator and formed a possible snowball earth. The earliest fossils of multicellular life are found in the Ediacaran, including the earliest animals. According to Rhino and co-workers, the sum of the continental crust formed in the Pan-African Orogeny and the Grenville Orogeny makes the Neoproterozoic the period of Earth's history that has produced most continental crust. Geology at the onset of the Neoproterozoic the supercontinent Rodinia, which had assembled during the late Mesoproterozoic, straddled the equator. During the Tonian, rifting commenced which broke Rodinia into a number of individual land masses, possibly as a consequence of the low-latitude position of most continents. Several large-scale glacial events occurred during the Neoproterozoic era including the Sturtian and Marino and Glacial glaciations of the Cryogenian. These glaciations are believed to have been so severe that there were ice sheets at the equator, a state known as the Snowball Earth. Subdivisions Russian geologists divide the Neoproterozoic of Siberia into the Baikalian from 850 to 650 Mart, which follows the Mayanian from 1000 to 850 Mart, then the Amchanian, Paleobiology. The idea of the Neoproterozoic era was introduced in the 1960s. 19th century paleontologists set the start of multicelled life at the first appearance of hard shelled animals called trilobites and archaeocyathid sponges. This set the beginning of the Cambrian period. In the early 20th century, paleontologists started finding fossils of multicellular animals that predated the start of the Cambrian. A complex fauna was found in southwest Africa in the 1920s but was inaccurately dated. Another fauna was found in South Australia in the 1940s but was not thoroughly examined until the late 1950s. Other possible early Fossils were found in Russia, England, Canada, and elsewhere. Some were determined to be pseudo-fossils, but others were revealed to be members of rather complex biotas that are still poorly understood. At least 25 regions worldwide yielded metazoan fossils older than the classical Cambrian boundary. A few of the early animals appear possibly to be ancestors of modern animals. Most fall into ambiguous groups of frond-like organisms, discoids that might be holdfasts for stalked organisms, mattress-like forms, small, calcareous tubes, and armored animals of unknown provenance. These were most commonly known as Vendian biota until the formal naming of the period, and are currently known as Ediacaran biota. Most were soft-bodied. The relationships, if any, to modern forms are obscure. Some paleontologists relate many or most of these forms to modern animals. Others acknowledge a few possible or even likely relationships but feel that most of the Ediacaran forms are representatives of unknown animal types. In addition to Ediacaran biota, two other types of biota were discovered in China. Terminal period. The nomenclature for the terminal period of the Neoproterozoic has been unstable. Russian and Nordic geologists referred to the last period of the Neoproterozoic as the Vendian, while Chinese geologists referred to it as the Sinian, and most Australians and North Americans used the name Ediacaran. However, in 2004, the International Union of Geological Sciences ratified the Ediacaran age to be a geological age of the Neoproterozoic.
ranging from 635 to 541 million years ago. The Ediacaran boundaries are the only Precambrian boundaries defined by biologic global boundary stratotype section and points, rather than the absolute global standard stratigraphic ages.